After these leaves are plucked, dried, and ground, they will turn into the finest matcha. But not all matcha is the same. The greener matcha is, the smoother and more complex its flavor. High quality jade green matcha can cost 20 times as much as pale green matcha. And while this bright green powder takes a few seconds to dissolve in water, it takes an entire year to grow the plant it comes from. So what makes ceremonial grade matcha so exceptional? And why is it so expensive? Matcha at its highest quality is referred to as ceremonial grade because of the central role it plays in Japanese tea ceremonies. Lower quality matcha, also called culinary grade matcha, can be made sweet with sugar and cream in desserts, but in its tea form, it's very bitter. Jintaro is a sixth generation matcha producer. He runs a 180 year old tea farm, one of the oldest in Uji, Japan, a city with a centuries old tea history. In spring, they sprout young, tender leaves, and that's the sign that matcha season has begun. この匂いを嗅ぐと本当にこの季節が来たなと思います。to make matcha, he only needs the very first leaves of the plant. It's there that there's a higher concentration of nutrients, and they will make the best quality tea. <laughs> At peak harvest, collecting leaves can take hours, but the reason why the plants are in the shade is not to protect those plucking them from the sun, but to protect the plants themselves. Extensive exposure to sunlight develops bitterness in the leaves. Blocking the sunlight preserves their flavor and gives them a bright green color. Before harvest in the spring, the plants spend 30 to 40 days in the shade. Jintaro uses rice straw panels to shade his plants a method that's become extremely rare among tea farmers. Most farmers now use plastic nets. They're more convenient and can be reused. Jintaro's plants spend double the time in the shade of what is recommended to make matcha, which is 20 days. While plants that make lower grades of matcha are harvested two or three times a year, ceremonial grade matcha is made from plants that have been plucked only once. <laughs> After an entire day of picking, Jintaro's work is just getting started. <laughs> できるだけフレッシュな状態で、え、蒸して乾燥させるために、えっと、そうですね、早い、え、その日中には絶対やりたいなというところです。昨日作業終わったのは、えっと、そうですね、えっと、本当に、え、11時半から12時ぐらいで
The first step of processing of the leaves is steaming. Steaming locks in the flavour and preserves their bright green colour. But most of all, it prevents oxidation, which would turn them into black tea. After steaming, the leaves go into this leaf spreader, a series of four mesh tubes where they're rapidly cooled by the wind. This eliminates the water on the leaves and prepares them for the next step, drying. The tea leaves at Jintaro's farm are dried using a 97-year-old furnace, which gives them a unique roasted aroma. After drying, the stems are removed and the leaves are sorted. Leaves up until this point are called tensure, and they will only become matcha after they're turned into a green powder. But before doing that, Jintaro usually tastes the unrefined leaves. He's very critical of his work. うん、むしろ通ってますね。毎回します。やっぱりどういうものができたかっていうのが湯に浸すとすごく香りとかも分かりやすいので、結局乾物の状態でもある程度の香りは分かるんですけど、湯に浸した方が浸した方がすごく分
趣味ではないですけどあの非常に好きでやっているっていうところがあるかなと思います。Once all this year's young leaves are picked and ground into matcha powder, Jintaro will spend the fall pruning the trees, ploughing, and fertilizing the soil. Come winter, he will weave the rice straw to shade his plants, and new leaves will sprout again, ready to be turned into matcha. I'm working for 18 years, but the dream of tea is that I don't think I can do it. I think I think it's going to be so much fun. But I think it's going to be so much fun. 思っているんですけど難しいんですけどまあ僕は本当にお茶が好きでやっているので次また頑張ろうということにもなりますし楽しいところにもなりますね。<音楽>